this is our roundup tool. Uh, so we review right roundup style content. Uh, you know, we review like five local businesses and give links to their website, and th this could save you a lot of time. Um, so I'll just start it off, and then I'll share. So you can see across the bottom, you've got one, two, three, th three kind of different stages. And um, during this first stage, it scrapes Google for your target keywords, um, and then it will choose how many sites you want to include and write, write round up for the roundup basically and um, so you have to set it to five and this is the kind of which version of google you want to use so you'd say um, glus if you were in usa or find the one for your country basically so you get the right results and um, you can see it's scraped google and it's tried to exclude ones that don't look like a genuine local company basically if the if it's not the home page that comes up as you can see there this is like a directory type website and um, then it will say no so it says no check a trade again and yell.com they're all directories so you wouldn't want to include them and then this one it's the home page so it looks like a genuine company you can see the page title there as well and the, the description that comes up in google so it, it said that's the first one on the list and it, it carries on like that and um, finding the ones that look like genuine companies and um, to include so we've got it scrapes a few pages of google so it's looking at the target number and um, you see it's done the same again for plumbers in manchester and the same for plumbers in london as well so it's found the right ones i'm not sure on my plumber there's one there in london could be a genuine one possibly and um, anyway you see in there that you don't want to just change that to the word no it basically just looks like the word no the number doesn't make much difference if you see one that you do want in there just stick anything next to it that's not the word no so a number or an x or whatever and it will include that in your roundup and um, then you go to uh, we've got a go button on this as well so you can have use the menu see number one or you can just press the big go button and um, the buttons sometimes kind of wander around the page a bit if you need to move it you just right click on it and then move it um, so this is the next stage. I'll use the button. Doop. Um, so it's going to pull in all that content that's scraped. Well, pull in all the side of the, yeah the content that's scraped from Google, and it starts scraping their websites, their homepage to get a bit of info on what they do. And um, then it's going to write a little review on each company. So we five reviews for each look for each keyword. So that's what we've picked on the other screen. Um, it adds a link to their website to the bottom of the review, so you may or may not want that. Um, you can, like all our tools, you can edit the prompts along row two um, to change the kind of output you get. So if you didn't want the link, you would just take away everything after i6, so it's just pulled in i6. And um, the link's set to target blank, so it'll open up another page. If you wanted it to be like a no follow link, then literally relationship equals I don't know what the exact thing is, but something like that. Um, you use single quotes because the double quotes kind of take you out, mess up your formula basically. So if, yeah, if you want to be no follow, you can do that. But if you want to share the, the link club, then you can uh, leave that off. And then um, once it's wrote all the content, added all the links, it kind of pulls them together again. So it uses the keyword as a sort of index. So everyone that was under the plumbers in Liverpool, all the content will get pulled together in here. Um, once it's written the page, then it writes an introduction and um, does an FAQ, which we do with a lot of our tools. Um, so, yeah, it'll do like seven questions. If, I find if you try and do ten questions, it's a bit too much and sometimes doesn't finish the FAQ or the schema properly. Um, so, yeah, it writes an FAQ for the page. It'll write a schema for the page, a valid um, schema to help your FAQ schema to help you get those um, snippets in Google. Um, and then it pulls it all together. So, I'll just check where we're up to um, doo -doo -doo. maybe I should have showed you just two keywords <laughs> to start with um, but yeah, I'll show you the next bit anyway to send it to your website you've got two options you've got Posty which is a free WordPress plugin uh, if you set Posty up properly then you can just press go and it'll all appear on your website um, or you've got an export option as well so you can export it into a CSV file and you can use anything that lets you yeah, um, import into your spreadsheet into your sorry, website and um, so you can use WordPress or WP all import works with it I've tested that before or you may not even have WordPress you might have a different system in which case anything that kind of takes in spreadsheets would work and um, I'll show you a little bit on how to get posty working it, um, it can be a bit fiddly the email settings because it sends it as an email and then 
posting picks up the email and um, so you have to set up an email address that you want to use with posty um, and your settings so you can choose do you want it to go as a draft or just publish straight away um, or depending on private other options in WordPress um, comments oh, there's loads of tooltips in this as well so you can kind of hover over these to be not sure um, but zero means no comments on it if you don't want comments you can choose if you want it to be a post or a page as well and then within WordPress you have to set up posty you can do that you can test posty even before you get the tool if you want to just to check it's all working because email security settings and stuff can be quite fiddly and um, these ones work for me so pop free port is 110 mail server which is just my website mail server and your email address and it needs the password for the emails as well so it logs into the email account and basically picks up the article from there um, and then you can set um, do, 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 how often you want it to check so it will check automatically every half an hour um, or you can just use process email to manually just grab whatever's in there so you can just instead of waiting <laughs> up to half an hour you can just grab what's in there and um, there was a few other settings for posty i think let me see oh yeah so for this you want to set it to html because you can see it all, i don't know if you saw but it automatically wraps the text in the valid html and stuff and um, so it all works for you i think that was the only setting let me check it yeah Yep, so that's where you get the plugin from. Yep, that's the HTML. And then we don't, don't have an image in this one, so that it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't make an image for this one like some of the content ones. It's just more like content articles. Um, but yeah, you can get images the old fashioned way if you wanted to do that. Um, let's see how we do it. Yeah, it does take a little bit longer because obviously it's got to write a lot of content. I've got it's doing 15 different. Yeah, websites here. Yeah. Sometimes you may get the occasion get the odd website that can't be scraped if they've got something in there to protect it. So you just have to keep an eye out for that as well. And yeah, there's a couple of other bits I'll show you as well. So with the when it comes to scraping Google, um, it's you you can't scrape Google directly using a Google Sheet. So you have to set up a little API. So Google does charge you naught point five cents per scrape and um, so there's instructions in here now to set it all up so uh, once you've bought it file and make a copy same for all our sheets and then put in your um, API key <laughs> so as I say open AI open AI API key which you can get from their website just following that link but these are the little extra bits you need to be allowed to get the data from Google once it's set up it's very quick so if you're doing a lot of this content it's definitely worth it um, so you just click get started and um, sign up it's called a like, like customizable search engine custom search engine um, but yeah once it sets up they'll give you an engine id and then your api key which is sort of like a password for it so you paste it into those two squares um, and that'll let you scrape google and then the, any other tools we do where you want that scrape google and um, you'll be able to use the same thing the same details and um, there's your instructions that we've been going through of course it's pulled them all together into the large articles so in the introductions and um, yeah you can see it's all valid html so you h2 tag for each title and um, for each little company um, and then it's got yeah, yeah faq does this like a bullet list as well Mm -hmm. I, I think I'm showing you how it all works anyway. There's no other settings open, I don't think you need. You can test Posty works as well before you buy it just by sending an email to that email address you've set up on Posty. Um, if you send an email to it directly, um, it should then appear as like a draft article. Um, if it doesn't, then you need to play about with Posty a bit more. Oh, ChatGBT understands, knows quite a bit about Posty as well, knows how it works and everything. Um, so yeah, if you get stuck, ask chat. it won't know your exact email settings, but it'll probably have a good guess for you. Um, and it will just help you with like the settings and getting it working and things like that. There we go, so that's finished. 
the articles and um, with all these tools as well if there's like a five minute maximum runtime on google sheets or it is half an hour if you've got a google workspace it's like six minutes if it's just like a, a free google account um, but what we have in these tools is like a little restarter so it'll say here starting again um, and a few seconds later the script will start running again but it will run in the background so you won't get the little bar anymore that says the script's running and um, it'll just you'll just see the cells filling in again still so if you've put loads in in one go lots of keywords and um, yeah just kind of leave it on its own until the cells are filled in or if you want to check it um, if you go to the code and go to triggers if it's not running you'll see like a trigger here i mean you don't have to check that <laughs> um, but yeah you can go to um, the code by extensions app scripts and check the triggers and you'll see if it's not running there'll be a trigger there that says it's going to start again within the next 30 seconds and it'll carry on running um, and it'll carry on filling again but yeah this is finished it's done them free okay within five minutes we're on the posty screen now and um, we've finished writing the articles um, this is going to set up all the settings that Posty needs to, to upload it to your website and then it will email it to your web server and um, you'll be able to see them there temporarily in your inbox for that account and then uh, once Posty picks them up they'll appear on your website so I'll show you all that now so send, send, send and we got those go to our inbox there they are, that was quick <laughs> and there's the article waiting to be picked up by WordPress can't see the schema in there. Oh yeah, it could be because it's in script. It might not it might not show within the email. Um, let's just test it on the website. So if we go to posty and process email, and it does give you a blank screen, but it, it still works. And you can see one minute ago, um, three new articles on the site. So I'm just going to click on one of them, and there's the article. Oops. Um, all in the HTML and the links and stuff as we picked. I'm just going to check it. Yeah, our scheme is here as well. Um, so if we go preview that, um, I'll have a nice long article on the website. Professional plumbers in London doesn't fit in with the rest of my website at all. Um, but there you go. Um, so you go right up on each plumber with the link to their website, and um, then you got your FAQs at the bottom right there at the bottom, um, and then you get your schema and stuff. Ta da! <laughs> Um, so there you go. So yeah, if you do like this type of content, then hopefully this tool's ideal for you. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, if you want to set up um, Posty and the Google API beforehand just to check all that is working okay for you, then yeah, do that before you pick up the tool. Um, but yeah, that's it. I hope you find it useful.